Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. You know what I found out recently, and I'm talking within the last couple of months, so I got a dog. Yeah. I found out recently that my dog has an Instagram. Oh, really? And I never knew that my... He, I, he's doing it behind your back, <laughs> <right>? yeah. <laughs> If you haven't got a girlfriend, this story is amazing. He goes, <laughs> yeah. he, goes he doesn't follow me back. Hello, welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Ron Mulholland, and him, a tiny little leprechaun. Hello! <laughs> um, Freddy... how, do, how do you do? <laughs> that's that's offensive, especially given the guest we've got today. What, to leprechauns? To, yeah, to the people of leprechauns, all of them. Leprechauns aren't real, Rob. All right, like, uh, I think there are small Irish people, though, they exist. That wasn't an Irish accent, that was a leprechaun accent. Right, I think they are one and the same, personally, but you know. Well, that's racist. Well, leprechauns have culturally appropriated that accent then, and that's not okay. Okay. Right. right. Anyway, we're here, um, uh, basically, we're introducing an episode that I'm not here for most of. Yeah. <laughs> like, I arrived really late, I'm really sorry, uh, but it's a great episode with Colin Cyril, he's a really How funny... do you know it's a great episode? You've not seen it yet? Ah, it's, I've heard. <laughs> I've heard it's really good. It is a great episode. The last 20 minutes are bang. The last 20 minutes are sick yeah. once I arrive. So Rob was about an hour and a half late. Yeah. So I'm in that chair. Yeah, he's in my throne. And I did an excellent job. Yeah, well, like, it remains to be seen. I want to check back the footage and see how much you've <laughs> absolutely nosed it. But, I, you know, look. I hope it's a good episode. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, if you do enjoy it, get on our Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod. It's only three pounds a month and you get loads of extra shit. I think I'm going to get another punishment. Great. So uh, enjoy the episode. Yeah, I think and, get into it. And if you are looking forward to me messing things up, it is very quick. So uh, <laughs> here Enjoy. We, here we go. Hello, I'm not Rob Hot. Wow, you fucked it up already. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Well, Rob's not in any danger of losing his spot anytime soon. Less Four than, words? Less that... than three seconds in. Yeah. So the joke was going to be, Rob Mulholland's fucked up, right? And he slept in because he's a stupid cunt, right? <laughs> uh, but we're doing the podcast anyway. And what we're going to do is we're going to get producer Tom to say, hello, I'm not Rob Mulholland, but he's still a fat cunt. That was the line that he was meant to deliver. It went well. And four words. It went do you want well. to try it again? Uh, no. Good. <laughs> Because I'm not going to give you a second chance. I'm no, not Rob Hulp. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard name to say. It's not. It is. It's not. It's harder than Rob. It's the hardest word in the sentence. What? Rob? No, Mulhol- Mulholland. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I say his name? Right. Okay. Well, with us today <laughs> is, is he comedian. Like, is he always like this? Is he? What, sorry? Is this guy always like this? No, no. So <laughs> the, the, the reason that we put Tom in the producer thing is because he... Look, four words, he fucking nails. He absolutely <laughs> smashes four. But any more than that, Five. and he just he, yeah. he struggles. I can say every word apart from... Rob's last name. <laughs> Rob's last name. <laughs> Rob's last name. Um, we're with uh, comedian Colin Tyrrell. Hey, folks. How's Hi. it going? Um, Hi. And that's our guest. <laughs> um, yeah, Rob's not here. He's fucked up. He's going to join us at some point. But uh, I'm not bothered uh, because, number one, he is dead weight on the podcast. Let's be, he's a lot of dead weight. Let's though. be fair. Let's be reasonable. Oh. He's, uh, he's the weak link, many say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And secondly, because the last time that Rob fucked up, uh, we got him to do a punishment set where I wrote a five-minute set for him that he had to perform at an open mic night yeah. in Manchester, and it was fucking brilliant, and we put it on Patreon, and you can check it out, patreon.com forward slash deadmentalkpod. Uh, you can check it out for just three quid a month. That's how much it costs yeah. to be a Patreon. But I'm excited because now there's a new sort of way, you know, he's fucked up. A new way we can punish him. A new way mm. we can punish him. And I know what the way is. Is it any we more than four words long? We're going to a sex dungeon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's got to yeah. be something there, We're right? We're getting punished by a professional dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was thinking of, like, giving him AIDS or something. Like, play the, uh, <laughs> like, do, play do, the long do game. Do you have AIDS? <laughs> Let's, how are you planning on giving it to him? I would. Such, as, as, such as my hatred for Rob... I would happily contract AIDS just <laughs> oh, yeah. to be the one to give it. Actually, yeah. actually, if I ever did get AIDS, 
part of me would see the plus side in how many people I got to infect yeah. with it. You'd lose weight as well. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> yeah. You never see a fat AIDS victim, do you? No. No, no, they didn't have that representation on It's a Sin. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, it's been a crazy week. Yeah. Uh, do you know what has happened this week that I have been most excited about? I don't know if this has hit the shores of America. Okay. But um, uh, boxing. Wait, do uh, to tell, I'm from Ireland, but I live in New York. Oh, yeah, you're, so people... you're from Ireland, but you live in New York. But exactly. I don't know. If, I, I reckon this has hit the shores of Ireland, but I don't reckon okay. it's crossed the Atlantic. So there was a boxing match. That was meant to happen this weekend between oh, yeah. uh between Connor Ben, son of Nigel Ben, yeah, and um uh Chris Eubank Jr., Who? son of Chris Eubank Sr. <laughs> <laughs> um and it's been called off. Oh, they called it off? Yeah. And the reason it's been called off is because Connor Ben has been caught doping with female fertility drugs. Oh really? I didn't know that was what he was yep. doping with. Yeah. Well, like yeah. IVF. <laughs> <laughs> they caught him out because yeah. he's he, he just started to show. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't work out if it was morning sickness or he was just really nervous. <laughs> um, yeah, he uh, he, he was ca- caught doping with and, and look, the thing is, is. The rumour mill is fucking rife at the moment as to why. And I think the official reason is probably because it does something to your blood that makes you better at something. You know what athletes are like, whatever. Yeah, right? yeah that's what doping is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 I didn't know you were, I didn't know you were a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it's something to do with blood. I do. I think it makes it better at boxing somehow. <laughs> oh, it probably changes your your muscles. <laughs> if I reckon. <laughs> I think, made him really I, good at Sudoku. I think, you hit, the, I did. I think you, you hit the nail on the head, yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't know why I just felt the need to explain doping. <laughs> um, uh, but one of the rumours is that he's quite, he's paranoid apparently about his man tits. And apparently this is like a thing for him to suppresses mantits. Well, they're only going to get worse with that IVF, aren't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm. that's, that's not one of the things that you uh, see about pregnant women, is it? Like, <laughs> oh, now you're pregnant, your tits are going to get smaller. <laughs> I don't know. I Yeah, but that was one of the reasons, apparently, it was in something that he was taking for his, what's it called? My, minocosmia or something like that? What's know. it called when like men are fat? I should fucking know. But, <laughs> like, you know, um, that was apparently one of the reasons. But of all the things to be caught for, like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a woman's infertility drug. That's that's giving Twitter the biggest open goal it needs yeah. to make yeah. every meme. Every time you were shirtless, it just takes somebody with Photoshop to put a little baby bump on there <laughs> and you're fucking done, mate. Maybe he wants to be like the first world champion trans boxer. <laughs> I, don't I think he'd have a good I think he'd have a good shot at it. Don't you think you think he's transitioning and just hasn't told anyone? Maybe, yet? yeah. He's, just... he's transitioning specifically to a pregnant woman. <laughs> yeah, that's his thing. He's like, I was born in the wrong body. <laughs> I was actually born in the wrong two bodies. <laughs> um, oh man. Uh, so, how are you, Colin? I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hungover. Are you? Were yeah. you out last night? Yeah, I was everywhere. So you're in Liverpool. I'm in Liverpool. Moment. Yeah. Where did you go last night? I went to about. Eight different spots. Really? I was walking around on my own, drinking and just oh, seeing what was man. going on. <laughs> I went to some horrible places. Um, first of all, I went to wherever the fuck that Beatles bar is. Cavern. I went to Cavern. Yeah, that's like uh, going to Temple Bar, I guess, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's just some... Yeah. Well, there's right beside the hotel, and I figured I might as well head in there. Yeah. I went to another place. It was called McCoolies. Christ. Um, right, you went to... So McCoolies is on Concert Square in Liverpool, and that's sort of like the uh, Weatherspoonsy bit. Yeah, it's like I mean? the touristy bit for like people from Wigan and no, stuff. Well, yeah, but it's also as well, it's like, uh, you know, £1.50 a shot type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's cheap. Yeah, and it was nuts because the, there's a guy playing guitar. I was watching the fucking Arsenal game, and there's a guy playing guitar, but then there's a, a fucking a different club across the street, and you can just hear the music blasting in. So he's singing Wonderwall, and there's like a fucking... 
Oh. <laughs> they across the street they like always him. play Wonderwall okay. in every bar in Liverpool. It's mad how, how much they play that Manchester song. They play it every single they, bar. They play it everywhere all over the world, I guess. Yeah, but it's it's in a, Liverpool as like, well, they, it's always someone on a guitar and they're always playing Wonderwall. Yeah, constantly. you'd think that that would be the kind of thing that would get you like punched in Liverpool. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, like yeah, showing well, deference. What, whatever to... he was doing, still, he's, you know, he's singing fucking... Yeah. Whatever, Mumford and Sons, you know, and he's there going, oh, and then like across the street, you can just say, this is the rhythm of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm, I'm just sitting on my own and there's, I'm trying to watch the game and there's like fucking. Do you know what? Whenever I see, like, especially with, there's something about musicians, and again, because I, I don't like music, I have to focus on something else. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, um, yeah, I'm not really, into, yeah. we talk about this all the time. I'm not really into music. I think it's overrated. Um, mm. But because I'm watching this musician, I always look at him and I think, yeah, I've had gigs like that, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like I have that, that, that feeling, that, that compassion towards him when I'm like, oh yeah, this is your, uh, you know, Friday night in a nightclub type thing. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. your tough gig. You had this one in the diary for months. You fucking hate it, but it pays the bills. <laughs> I'm but, with you, mate. I've had shows like this. But also, it's not... With comedy, it can really... It is so dependent on the audience. Whereas with music, it doesn't really matter if anyone's listening or not listening. You just sort of... You just bang out your, your song. Well, this is it, isn't it? Because with comedy, any, any tiny disruption... Yeah. That's it. That's it. Game over. Do you know mm. what I mean? But with music, yeah, no one could be there to listen to you. It's just background noise, really. If anything, you want them to join in as well and yeah. like sing along. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, the thing is with music is if you're playing to, I don't know, a crowd of 100 and maybe a third of them are listening, then I guess that's a pretty good fucking return. Mm. Like, you're, you're, you're happy with that. Yeah, yeah. But if you're doing stand up in a room and a third of them are listening, that's not a that's not a gig. That's no. just carnage. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. a Christmas Christmas. Oh God, they're nearly coming. Oh shit in hell! I've just depressed myself. <laughs> are, are, are Christmas gigs bad in? Because you perform no. stand up in New York, don't you? That's where your sort of thing is. Are they bad in New no. York? It's no. not a thing. No. Really? It's just, it's just a consistent thing. No way. Yeah. So there's no real Christmas shows. So in there's New Year's Eve shows that can be bad, but. Christmas is... So it doesn't affect it at all? No. That's... Wow. Because you guys have, like, I guess the, the celebration. Everyone goes out for work over here and stuff like that, right? That's they're, the big They're like problem. work nights and they go to comedy. They won't They won't go to a comedy show, really. Sometimes oh, yeah. you get some groups, but it's, it gets stamped out. It's very strict in New York, like... Ah, you the, see, over here it gets actively encouraged. They go, come on in, say whatever you want, yeah. just spend the money. Yeah, in yeah. fact, comedy clubs will actively promote and go, around about this time of year as well, they'll actively promote and they'll go, are you thinking about having your office party? Do you want yeah, something yeah. super fun? Come down to Johnny's Chuckle Cunt yeah. House, featuring <laughs> some of the best comedians you've ever seen. And what happens is you get a group of 25 people, of which three are mm. asked about watching stand-up, and the other two don't. The, the other twenty two don't give a shit at all. They just want to get pissed because it's their works night out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. and they've been told that they have to be in a room where they can't talk and have to be on their best behaviour to it. It's a yeah. Nightmare. They want to chat to each other as well because it's a party. It's, it's a just, fucking mm. nightmare. However, you just suck it up and get on with it because it pays fucking well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It Are pays we... really well. And over in New York, I think the pay is dog shit, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but like, yeah, but. It... Not when you go on the road on the weekends. Like, you know, when you're in New York, it can be shit. But it also can be good, you know. It could be a hundred. Depends where you go. Like, in, you get $100 a show. But then if you do four or five shows a night, it's not that bad. That's you know? not bad at all, actually, is it? No. But it won't be like that every weekend. It'll be... No. Mm. No. The real... New York is, is just to keep your sort of... Keep yourself sharp. And really what... So during the week, then on the weekends, you're supposed to go on the road. And yeah, yeah, go yeah. Do your hours, and that's where you make your money. Ah, uh, you see. Yeah, but the, the money in England's nuts. Everyone's like three years in. They're all like, "Oh yeah, I'm a full time comedian now." And you're like, "How the fuck?" Well, I mean, <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a lot that say that and they're fucking nuts. But yeah, it pays. It, well, the weird thing is, it pays better in England to be a comic almost than anywhere else. Yeah. Um. In fact, in fact, I can't think of a country that pays better than the UK to be a stand up because. Mm. Uh, America pays dog shit. Dog shit. Um, Canada, you have the whole yuck yucks thing. Do you know about that? No. So in Canada, there's a chain of comedy clubs called yuck yucks. Right. right. And yuck yucks will only hire acts 
that are represented by yuck yucks and they're the biggest ah, chain. Okay, right, right, but yeah. what they do is they go if you work for us you can't work for nobody else right, right. and then what they do is they drive the fees down massively because you can only work for them yeah but yeah. you but they're often the only game in town in a lot of cities like so mendez you... that, it- that portuguese agent <laughs> sorry what <laughs> the portuguese football agent who just oh, takes all the portuguese players and says you gotta go to wolves yeah, 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 sort of like that. Yeah. Sort of like a similar version to that mm. in a very weird... Ca- and I mean, I thought I was the one on this podcast that was known for tortured analogies. But <laughs> Is this seat? Have I become <laughs> Rob? <laughs> um, Is this what it feels like? Maybe. Would, um, you, would you ever do a show for free? Because I do, we do free shows yeah, all the time I'll do, in New I, York. I will do free stuff. But only if it is to try out new material. So I'll yeah. do free stuff and do new, new, new material. But I ain't. I would never just do a show for free. That's mental to me. Yeah. That's like just to get out of the house and yeah. I'm not working for free. Nah. Like I, I do it when, when you're sort of coming up. You do it to like be seen by certain people. Yeah. yeah. Like if you want to, you know, progress with a certain comedy club, then you kind of have to start at the but, and that's fine. But now I would I I wouldn't even think twice about it. There's no way. When you go on the road, you say on the road, do you like go all across the country or just like the New York State area? Um, it depends really. I'm not even that active on the road because um, you got to build up your profile right. kind of before you get that. But hopefully now, now that I did this, <laughs> this is a pioneering <laughs> moment for me. <laughs> oh, this is a game changer. Fo- my phone's off the hook. <laughs> this is a game Schultz changer. Schultz did this and then... <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had, we had Steve Hofstetter the other week. We did, yeah. Steve who, yeah. people yeah. were saying. Steve Hoofstetter. Hoofstetter. <laughs> Hoofstetter. <laughs> but then, mate, Massive he did money. this and then all of a sudden, all yeah. of his uh, heckler clips went viral. Yeah. They were just... <laughs> this This was the, uh, the spark. Yeah. Naked Martin. He's gone bigger as well since we came Naked out. Ma- oh, you don't know about Naked Martin, do you? He's the gentleman so behind you. Naked Martin is the gentleman behind you. Uh, he's a pod this f- this, like, that's the guy, favorite. Yeah. I'll tell you what, get up Twitter, Naked Martin. Let's introduce um, Colin to Naked Martin. So Naked Martin is a, is an older gentleman mm. who has a um, he has a proclivity to uh, shit and piss and cum in things and usually eat them. Um, they're a nice fella, though. Nice bloke. Lovely lad, big friend of the podcast. Came Hopefully, in. get him on soon. Um, Has he been on? No, no. Oh. So here's the thing, right? Is we tried to get him to come on one of our live shows, and we were like, "Mate, we'll pay for all your travel. We'll sort you out. Mm. Don't worry about it." Uh, and he was fine with that. But he lives in Basingstoke, which is the arse end of nowhere. We couldn't get a train back on the same evening, and so we sort of said to him, like, "You know, we'll, we'll pay for your hotel." And he's like, "Oh no, I don't. I don't. Well, I don't stay in hotels no. It's like, mate, you, you, yeah, you, eat you your regularly, own shit. <laughs> regularly eat your own shit. There has <laughs> to be. Are you banned? Are you like? There's no way that you um, can say. Oh, here, here's a good one from Naked Martin called Poo Play. Oh no. And so this is just. Um, what's he doing? Can I have a little shit. Oh. Oh. The can... anticipation absolutely kills me. You can hear something happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something's. Something's getting ready. Here oh, it is. Oh, Here that's it is. where it's coming from. Um, I thought it was above it. I thought it was above it as well. Martin, have you got two bum holes? How can you not recognise naked ba- Martin's bum hole at this point? Oh, Jesus. God. <laughs> oh, we've not finished, by the way. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> oh, Colin, if you don't want to watch this, you're on the Honestly, podcast. this is this is level one. Oh, yeah. Now, he might do a handstand in it. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. He's scooping it up. <laughs> he's scooping it up. <laughs> and he's just rubbing it on himself. There you go. He's a good lad. I'm oh, on his head. On his head. On his head. Agile right now to be watching this. We have got a sick bucket for you. <laughs> oh, he rubbed it on his cock and balls. That's the bit that gets me. He's on your cock and balls. Oh, and all on his, oh, and his mouth. Mm. Yeah. And what would what would your ambitions be if he was at a live show? What would what? you want them to do? <laughs> Because <laughs> if he's not doing the party trick, he's just a guy. He's just a naked man. <laughs> he's he's already like shit on a picture of me and jizzed on a picture of Rob. Uh, that we had him. Do. You can buy him. You can buy him to do things. I'm sure. I'm sure he's rentable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rentable is the key and word. I think, I think this. And I think he does this full time. Oh, he's not booked up. Oh, oh he does that full time. Yeah, this is like his. That's his yeah. profession now. Uh, if you go back onto um, the um, uh, the inbox, yeah, uh, I actually sent you a little video that I found today. Oh, okay. Um, of a fight. Um, oh, yes. Did you see this? Oh, yeah, I saw this. Yeah, this is great. Oh, hang on. Go. So, 
Uh, this is a little video that I found of two guys fighting in what looks to be a gym locker room. It doesn't look like it's it. a real fight, though. It's like a wrestling thing. You know? Yeah, they're both trying to get each other on the ground. This is what Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has turned fighting into. Mm. Everyone's just trying to floor somebody each other it. now. Yeah, somebody <laughs> fought it. Somebody do -do. And there's a lot of there's a lot of pushing back and forth. <laughs> somebody do -do. Somebody do -do. A lot of pushing back and forth. Oh, it's my doodle! What? Oh, that doodle! And you look, he just left a couple of <laughs> he just left he's shit on the floor. <laughs> he's just left a few shits on the floor. Just left a couple of little turds. Uh, Who is it? It's the guy wearing a top that's done a shit, isn't it? I can't no. The, the guy in the shorts. You think? Yeah, because he's kind of fall out of his shorts, the right? Fell out oh, of shorts. yeah, of course. He's going to fall all the way out of his trackies. Oh. But the reason that I thought that it was the other guy is because the topless guy is the aggressor. So you would think that if you needed a shit, you would... If, if you needed a shit and you wanted to fight somebody, you would first have a shit. Uh, <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe you would have done that in the toilet first, oh, though. So, yeah. yeah. So, so you'd have a shit. Does the topless guy wearing tracksuit? bottoms i think so yeah right so yes. i th so, so that's yeah. why i thought so he didn't shit he didn't and he's shit. the aggressor it was this guy it was this yeah, guy yeah that's what i mean oh, that's so, why yeah. i thought we were that's saying... why i thought it would have been weird if the aggressor was yeah, the one yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. no because if you can choose when the fight happens yeah you, you go no, we're all, we're i'm all... have a shit first yeah we're on the same page we're, we're all, all, all agreement that it's the fear as well would have got him i think and you could tell too he lost i think he kind of started to lose once he shit yeah. <laughs> he, he, he was holding it together and then yeah like when well, you go and watch dog racing the one that shits you never bet on that one is that the, is that <laughs> that's the, that's the rule that i was told oh is it? i, thought, I mean I was of the course of course shitting is gonna be uh, the precursor to losing like i didn't for a minute imagine that he was gonna shit and somehow get a second wind yeah and be like well now that i've got uh, rid of yeah. this excess weight i, I didn't hear it, no bell <laughs> it's how kind of ben got here uh, is that yeah. what kind of got found out? Yeah, the reason being is while this guy needed a shit, the other guy was doping up on fucking <laughs> women's hormones. <laughs> Somebody's IVF treatment. Oh, that's that's a tough one. But the the funniest is because black guys are the funniest people of all time. He was like, somebody doo doo! <laughs> somebody <laughs> doo doo! <laughs> he didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If that was like somebody from Scotland, oh, someone's done a wee job over there. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, it, it's, it wouldn't be anywhere near as funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, man. Have you, uh, I, I mean, you strike me as someone who's been in a fight before, Colin. Not a whole lot. It's usually small, like little, you know, smack small than little. Yeah. Small. Small. <laughs> There's no way you've been in a fight, Tom. There's no way. I've been in three fights in my life. Really? Won every one. Twice against the top shelf. Oh, yeah. You should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Just reaching. laughs> uh, um, uh, you, you've you've won every fight that you've been in. Yeah, but I wouldn't say they were like good fight. I wouldn't say like yeah. I could beat anyone in a fight. I just happened to fight people who weren't very hard. Yeah, I mean, you know, okay. in fairness though, she did put up a good fight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> say so beating up women. That's the yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah. That's He's the... getting into the spirit of the podcast. <laughs> you say women, girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Double down. Nice. Um. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I used to do boxing training, but I wouldn't say I'm like I'm. I'm when was hard. your first fight? What ever? Yeah. In my life. Yeah. I mean, when I was a kid, I got into a lot, but like as an adult, probably when I was like seventeen, when I was in town, oh, someone okay. punched me in the throat for no reason, and someone, then I punched him back. Someone punched you in the throat. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you and you recovered from that. Yeah, I'm fucking solid. Nah. Yeah, yeah. What? It wasn't a very good punch. But still, you don't need a good th a good punch to collapse a fucking larynx. Yeah. A couple of years later, my lung collapsed so maybe maybe that was, <laughs> maybe that was why <laughs> it was a long-term thing yeah, he was yeah. like look i'll not win the battle but i'll fucking win the war yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i may be on the floor now but three years from now <laughs> my uh but yeah i wouldn't say yeah i'm not good at fighting but i've just fought people who are even worse at fighting yeah my yeah, first my first fight i lost yeah. i um <laughs> I said that like that was going to be the end of the story. Yeah. So my first fight Against was... obesity. <laughs> <laughs> That's on go. In fact, right now I'm winning the fight against obesity. Are you? Yeah, because obesity is trying to kill me yeah. and I'm still mm. alive. Yeah. So for me, that's that's one nil to I think mean, the fight is ongoing. I wouldn't say you're winning. It's a very yeah. heart, heartwarming <laughs> story. Yeah. Yeah, I think right now I'm, I'm winning the fight against obesity. Okay. I wish Rob was here. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, this is the one point where we actually miss him, innit? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I had a fight when I was, uh, Christ, how old would I have been? I reckon I was probably in about year nine, so maybe about, or year 10, maybe I was about 14 or 15. Right. right? Yeah. And then there was this kid at school who was like in the year below me, right? And he was, I didn't like him and he didn't like me. And then I can't remember why, but we just decided to have a fight after school. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to win this because I'm just like, because I'm in the year above him. And that's that's all that's really. Oh, you can't fight against someone a year below because if you lose, well, it didn't fuck. it didn't draw a big crowd. You see, because oh. what I was doing basically is at the start of my fighting. This was like new material. Do you know what I mean? This was yeah. just like I did I did an unlisted show just to sort of get my groove going before I before I took on some big names, and I was pretty like up like like I was pretty confident that I was going to win. Right, just based on the fact that I was like, I'm older. That's all you need. Yeah. And then what he did, the little fucking rat, is he <laughs> grabbed hold of my collar with one hand mm. and then just started hitting me in the face with the other hand. Sure. And I wasn't prepared for the possibility that there might be grabbing involved. Mm. Like, I thought that we'd just yeah, fight yeah, each yeah. other. I didn't know that he was going to get us. And it was, to be fair... You were playing Queensbury rules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> about you? To be fair, <laughs> it was a fucking great technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, 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 I didn't know what to do. Because which hand do you focus on? Because yeah. if you focus on the one that's smashing you in the face, yeah, then exactly. that's not solving the problem long term. But if you focus on the one that's grabbing your collar, yeah, yeah. then you so just you get... Just, you know what I did, though? You, were, you were, used two hands... <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, yeah, what were you just sitting there going, all right, how do I... <laughs> <laughs> were you just like, with your hands in your pockets going, wait, I'll, I'll fix... How was, do you solve it? I was pondering. <laughs> you were... <laughs> you were I was get... Googling with one hand and trying to, <laughs> yeah. trying to block with the other. You had a butty in one hand. That's what it was, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I ended up... What I ended up doing was, um, like, I, so I ended up sort of grabbing both of my... Using both my hands to grab his that was grabbing my collar and I sort of grabbed him and twisted and kind of almost you could call it a precursor to some sort of judo throw where I sort of threw him onto the floor and then I was on top and I was like, right, and now we are going to settle. Yeah. And, and and now what started out as a as an early loss for me is going to turn into quite the victory because yeah. I'm on top now. Yeah. And then a teacher came and I was like, fuck, because uh, that's the end of it, isn't it? Yeah. So you've officially lost that. I mean, that, yeah. that chokes up as an L. I remember in high school, uh, some girl wanted to fight me. Right, she was quite. What? She, she was quite like a scally girl. She was quite, and you've also. You, so for those of you that are listening to this and didn't see it, you also did that with your hands to indicate massive fat tits. No, 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 no. The opposite. <laughs> so <laughs> that means that means a big girl. So what happened was we were playing football, and I kicked a ball and it hit her in the face. Right, and I immediately started laughing. I didn't know who this girl was. It turned out she's like. This super hard girl. She's a bit of a scally. And, I, and then straight away, she's like, Do you I'm know gonna... the term scally, by the way? Like a scallywag? <laughs> like a. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was on a, like a, a boat in the 1500s. <laughs> <laughs> <I was out. laughs> like a chav. Yeah, she, she, she yeah. you know the term chav? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, like like that. Yeah, she's just like a chav. And then um, she came on to me and I'm going to fucking twat you. And I was like, I just froze because I was like, well, there's literally nothing I can do it. But all of my mates are all like, uh, uh. So then this big rumor started that this girl had twatted me, which she hadn't. Oh, and then and then she said, "I am going to twat you after school. I'll meet you at the bus stop." And I was like, "Shit! Like now I've got to go, I've got to go to the bus stop because that's how I get home." Yeah, what am I going to do? I don't want to fight this girl because if she beats me up, I've got beat up by a girl, and if I beat her up, then I'm the dickhead who beat up a girl. So like, yeah. what do you do? I am going to throw it out there and say that in this scenario, uh, first of all, use your words, but secondly, if somebody's coming at you. And I genuinely believe this. Uh, I I don't care what gender it is. I think if somebody's coming at you with the intent to hurt you, I think that you are fully within your rights to put them on their ass because that's what equality means. Yeah, but I also didn't have very much. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, uh, we're pro wife beating here. Oh, we are pro equality. Equality. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have burnt the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Bow. Pan to the head. <laughs> yeah. I did Freddy if, f- he did if he burnt my dinner. He's kicking it. I'm a feminist. This <laughs> <laughs> is for your own good. <laughs> How did Tom get so strong? <laughs> he, took, he took the women's fertility drugs. 
It's Conor Bender. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, so I, I, I didn't have the confidence that if we did have a fight that I would win. Like, <laughs> but, Wait, yeah. you didn't have the confidence that you were going to beat her? No, because I'm not big anyway. And, and apparently like, she had this reputation of being really hard as well. And she was, she was like super confident that she would win. No, but the reason, right, yeah. okay. So the reason that she's got this reputation that she's really hard is because she's never been punched in the face. Yeah, but at this point, I'd never properly punched anyone. I didn't know how to throw a punch. Oh, uh, okay. I wasn't a fighter. I was, like, super skinny and little tiny kid. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to get twatted. So I couldn't go to the bus stop, and but I needed to get home. So what I did was I snuck out of school and went to two earlier bus stops than the, than the school one because I knew that she didn't get on my bus. You're a pussy. So I proper pussy out. Wow. And then everyone got on the bus like, eh, you pussy out. I was like, yeah, because how would I have won that? Like, there's no, there's no winning. You fucking pussy. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Fucking no doubt. Okay. Because if I'd have had that fight, th- th- there's no win for me. There's no win. There is. Mm. You winning is the win. Nah, because if I if I had beat her up, someone else would have beat me up later. Yeah. Why? Yeah, some guy would have shown up. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah actually, you're her right. Her brother was oh, solid no. as well. And oh. then, he, then it snowballs into this whole thing. He would have fucking ended you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. In so, the end, we became friends. So the, my, We're getting married next year. <laughs> <laughs> so my next question. You're not really, are you? No, no, I'm married to her. So, so my next question is, I'm presuming that you've lost touch with her. Yeah. 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 So I think, first of all, we should use the power of this podcast to find her. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> yes, for sure. And secondly, we should set up a rematch. <laughs> yes. We should set yeah. up a rematch. Would Gloves. you know because we're friends? Would you fight? No, you're not. You just said you well, lost touch. Well, we became friends. Do for oh, sure. what, do when you were at school, you wouldn't want to violate that sacred code of when you were in year <laughs> exactly. 10. Shut the fuck yeah. up, you pussy. Do it for charity. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Right, okay. So this is for, um, there is a single child that I know that is, uh, honestly, mate, he's got super cancer. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, and he's sing- he's, he doesn't have a girlfriend. He's single. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a single child. <laughs> the, the, the Unmarried. Do- the yeah. doctor's uh, given him a little cape and everything. Like, right, he yeah. is he is done, yeah. right? Where's a little SC I'll fight him. On his chest. <laughs> 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 you fucking wouldn't. You fucking wouldn't. You... Has he got a big brother? <laughs> you got the hospital two, two towns along? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, oh, I'm not saying I'd win. He's raising money. <laughs> And I know that we can raise the exact amount of money that we need by to save him. Fighting by you girl. fighting this woman. Would yeah. you fight her? Um, to save a child's life. Uh, if that was true. Yeah, it is. Yeah, probably. It is true. It is true. It's true. That's why, uh, uh, that's why Rob's not here. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's getting the kid. <laughs> he's getting the kid. <laughs> he's robbing a bank. <laughs> They're both outside waiting for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, then, yeah. You would, you'd have no problem in that Yeah, case. because you're never going to do it, so I could just say what I want. <laughs> Fucking knock him out as well. Oh my! I uh... <laughs> I probably if if everyone agreed to it now that we're adults, I think I would do it now. Yeah. If we all agreed to it and it was for charity and stuff, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have, right. I have, I know this is I've... also now now go for a bunch. I know, I've, I've, I, I know, I'm I've, more confident in my abilities now. I know I've mentioned this many times, but I have no problem defending myself again. Like if there was a uh, a woman who really wanted to fucking hurt, really wanted to fuck me up. I have no problem at all doing the minimum amount of self-defense. Like, I'm not going to fucking twat anybody, yeah. but I have no problem doing that. I'm not one of those guys that's like, no, no, you can punch me in the face as much as you like, and I'm not going to respond. Does, 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 I don't have that in me. I probably would have defended myself. There's, it, there's ways to beat up a woman honorably. <laughs> <laughs> go, on, go on. That's the, <laughs> that's the clip right there. <laughs> that's the gif. No, like, you just, as long as you don't fall... Knuckle to the fucking face. Right, Just right. avoid. Any... Leave no bruise. Leave no visible marks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Body shots. So- soap in a sock. You know, yeah, like yeah, full yeah. metal jacket. I love how he said there's ways to beat up a woman honorably, yeah. like he was in Bridgerton. <laughs> <laughs> My day. Um, yeah. Where well, you can do the, you, you give him a good shoving. Yeah. A good shoving. Yeah, yeah. And especially, and then technically it's the radiator that fucking did the damage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have you know that was the impact of the wall, not yeah. me. I just yeah. got you away. Yeah, a good shoving, you're allowed to do it. You can give them the mush, just sort of a, a palming. I kind think... of a, like a fucking American football, like a <laughs> little palming to the head. <laughs> but it's got to be in defense. If, if this was an organized fight. She, it right. is in defense. She fucking, yeah. she was yeah. I think, I think a judo throw. Judo is flip. fine. I don't know judo. Yeah, but you've seen it. But they're women. They're small. You can play I'm around small. with them. You know, like it's like playing fucking football against kids. 
<laughs> it's it's you don't even need to know how to do it. It's like doing, doing wrestling moves in the swimming pool yeah, with, your, yeah, yeah. with your nephew. It's just you know how to fucking. Yeah, looking back, I should have twatted it. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I think you can get a solid little shot, little body shot in, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Well, no one's watching. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm much more confident that I could be. Well, you up. can get there. What you do with a woman, you get their hands, and then you start punching them with yeah. their hands and go, stop hitting yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop yeah, hitting yeah. yourself. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's another one. one. Do you know what you should have done? Is you should have uh, held the shit in all day. Oh. <laughs> And then just just waited till she went for you and just squeezed out a little poo. <laughs> he doo dooed. He doo dooed. He's yeah. done a doo doo. <laughs> little black guy shows up for no reason. He's done a doo doo. <laughs> like, all right, yeah, uh, that was a pretty honourable way of dealing with it, Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've not hurt anyone, but you've you, you've shat all yeah. over. <laughs> you've do... come out of that honourably. If someone came over to attack you anywhere, yeah. in any situation, and you went, and then went, and just shit, I think everyone's like, I'm out of here. I heard a story. Or if with, I threw shit at you. I heard a story with uh, Phil Nickel. You know, uh, you know Phil Nickel. Comedian. He's a comedian. Yeah, with yeah. Guitar. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, so he's a really, really good comic. Is Phil? He's like a legend of comedy. Um, and he was on. He's a short guy. I, I don't, I'm not. Don't know why I would say that. Like you get on. <laughs> yeah. Do you know him? Yeah. <laughs> Has he been to the meetings? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hang out under a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> under, under a mushroom, Com- under a table, <laughs> comparing pots of gold. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he was—he told me a story one time that he was on this bus, right, and there were uh, loads of like chavy little kids, about you know between sixteen and eighteen. Like you should be able to fight one of them, but six of them is going to be a fucking pain. Mm. Oh. You know what I mean? So he's on this—he's uh, on this bus, right. And they're being quite rowdy, and he's keeping himself to himself. And then he, one of them, it starts to engage in him, and he, uh, oh, uh, let's have a go with your guitar. And Phil's like, nah. And he's like, go on, let's have you, let's have a go with you. No, 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 no. And he goes, all right, okay, I'll phrase it differently. Give me your fucking guitar. So what Phil did, and I think this is genius, is outnumbered and faced with the fact that he's quite small. What he did is he grabbed the guitar and he licked the whole <laughs> neck of the guitar. Like Jimi Hendrix. In like a weird... Along the strings. Sort of like... <laughs> um, he licked the whole length of the guitar in like a weird sort of crazy, demonic kind yeah. of sexual way. And all the kids were like, nah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> like, yeah, I don't yeah. want any of that. So you because do he might not be able to outfight them, but he can sure as fuck outweird them. them. <laughs> he can, yeah, lick, he can them. lick them. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be watching a lot of Pokemon at the time. <laughs> yeah. Lickitunga. I'd love it if, if each of them had just gone, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how you... him. <laughs> or just done the naked Martin, Martin defense of covering yourself in poo. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, you want to lick, do you, motherfucker? We'll yeah. play that game. <laughs> Yeah, he was. Um, I thought that was a really clever way of dealing with it because you don't get into the fight that way. Yeah. But like, I think it, it, if if you're quite young, if you're like an adolescent like that, I think it's really easy to trick them into, oh, you're not going to win this fight, yeah. even when they are on paper. Mm. I mean, I'm not. I'm not suggesting that obviously what you should have done. <laughs> well, to be when fair, that girl went to beat you up. You to be have... fair, it worked because we didn't have a fight that day, and then it just it just sort of petered out, and then nothing ever happened. So. Yeah, it's because you go home. Because, well, this is the thing as well, is you went to school before the internet, I imagine, or like before like... Well, it was like MSN MSN days. Yeah, totally. So you sign off off MSN, that's you done for the evening. Yeah, yeah. But if you went to school nowadays and there was fucking Snapchat... Yeah, people would be filming it. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 you're done. You're fucking done. You're going into school the next day and she's filmed a gypsy call-out video. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) This one's going out to you now, right? (laughs) I am a fight you. I'm a beach in the car park. You know what I mean? Sorry, that was probably quite offensive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to sh- sh- throw shit at you. This <laughs> wasn't the worst accent, actually. Oh, you're thank not, you. You're I... not much shite in the bucket. That's what they say. <laughs> you're nothing but shite in a bucket. That's when wasn't the, one of the famous insults was. Yeah, he goes, you're nothing but shite in a bucket. I, I like the one uh, I watched, because I got obsessed with watching Gypsy Call Out videos. Yeah, they're the best. They're they well are, better than the fights. They are funny. And then there was the guy who kept punching himself and going, I'm a tank. Do you remember him? No. Get him up, get him up. Right, so Google, 
Um, uh, so, so, so go on YouTube, go on YouTube and put in uh, I'm a tank video. And I'm sure that that's uh, going to be, uh, surely that's going to come up. I'm a tank gypsy. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that oh, second okay. guy. Second guy. Do you remember this oh, guy? Yeah, you get a bat and we come to your fucking mum's house and we fucking do damage. All right, son. I'll take your fucking mum's door if it's fucking hinges. You, you don't want to mess with us, mate. <laughs> we'll come in twos. We'll come in twos. Fuck off, fuck off a minute. <laughs> Josh, honestly, mate. Honestly. I'm fucking 22. You're 21. Me and you, fair match. I've got, I've got our kid here. I've got our kid. He's fucking 18. You would take your fucking head. Clean off your fucking shoulders, son. I fucking, rip your I, I, I fucking taught him well. Understand? Understand me, Josh, now. I, I'm the fucking kid. I'm the fucking man. See me? I'm a fucking tank. Understand me, son? There's yeah. nothing, nothing, nothing you could do to, to affect me. Understand? So you, I, I, will, I will fucking disrespect you and humiliate you, you fucking bastard, yeah? You, you're a fucking bastard, bastard mate. A little wannabe plastic gangster. Well, you plastic, Daryl the real deal is fucking fantastic. I'll smash you. Right in the fucking chop, son. Go on, tell him, Jacob. Yeah, yeah, mate. You see us, mate? We'll fucking rip your apart, mate. I'll take it to the floor, mate. I'll fucking... Ah, I'll fucking chew your fucking lips apart, mate. I'll fucking chew your face yeah. apart, mate. I'm a tank! You see us, <laughs> mate? I'm a tank! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you won't fucking leave a bone. I'll fucking eat it all, mate. I'm the worst mate, person in oh. your cross, mate. Do you know what's do you know what's, do you know what's really funny about that? that? Is I I love the idea that they filmed that and then they stopped it and one went, All right, okay, next time, take two. Yeah. What we're gonna do <laughs> is you're gonna open with the tank thing earlier. I think the tank thing is a winner. Yeah. But we seem to be treading on each other's toes a bit much, so I'll go forward. And then I'll get you in, and then you get me yeah, in at the yeah, end. Yeah. And then at the very end, you punch yourself in the face, but not as hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that last, that last guy sort of went. Yeah. <laughs> the skinny guy really ruined the whole fucking video, didn't he? Because the other guy did look insane, and then the other kid was just like, there'll be two of us. Yeah, and I'll then, bite your lips. And he goes, fuck, <laughs> bite your lips. He goes, he was going to kiss him. He was a bit kinky, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah and the, the big lad goes, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, yeah. It, yeah, I got obsessed with those sort of videos. Yeah, they were great. Because yeah. I just find them so, like, even the scariest ones that you ever see, where it's like, oh, that campsite has bodies. Do you know what I mean? Like, like yeah. the ones where it's like, it's dodgy. Mm. Even those, they look daft when they're doing them. They look a bit silly. Do you know what I mean? But my favourite one was I was watching one, and this guy goes, you think you're the king? You're the king of dog shite. <laughs> <laughs> Have you uh, seen the um have you seen the other thing that people are moaning about this week is um uh Velma from Scooby Doo. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. She's a rug muncher. <laughs> <laughs> Munching rug. Velma in the back of the fucking Yeah. In the yeah. back of the mystery machine. Yeah, apparently there's a Scooby Doo episode where she brings her boyfriend and they take his mask off. <laughs> <laughs> And I want to get away with it. It wasn't for you and these pesty. Um, yeah, I, uh, uh, do you know what? Like, why are they saying it now? I don't, I don't. Yeah, understand. as if they always knew. Yeah, well, it's not like you left little Easter eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like along the way? Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's not like you got fucking, you know, it's, it's not like Velma turned up to the mystery mobile wearing like a flannel shirt, you know, yeah. trying to put pink on on the radio and shit. <laughs> like, well, I always knew. It's just yeah. something that they've added retrospectively. Yeah, yeah. They, didn't, they didn't write it in the 60s going, descript- let's make her a lesbian, but make no reference to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, yeah, yeah. your description of lesbians is great. Just Thank you. It, put pink on. <laughs> Am <laughs> I wrong? Show me one lesbian that doesn't like pink. Okay. I beg. I beg. <laughs> doesn't exist. Doesn't fucking exist. <laughs> they all love pink. They all love tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they're, they're Russian, weren't they? They were Russian... Yeah. Lesbians. Yeah. yeah. Where are they? They must be in prison, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah, there's no way they're walking around. That's what the war's about. Hmm? That's what the war's about. What? Lesbian rights. Just tattoo, yeah. It's just, they caused it all. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so Velma's a, yeah, she's a lesbian. Well, good for uh, her. Yeah, good, good yeah, on her. Yeah. Like, I, I don't understand who it's for. I don't understand who it's for, but also I just don't care. I, it, no, not at all. Here's the thing is, is it show on? Yeah. <laughs> What's, yeah. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> 
<laughs> what else have you done with Sean? <laughs> like the old Batman and Robin, kapow. <laughs> Robin's gay. Robin was, Robin's taking it up the arse. Yeah, but only that version of Robin. <laughs> and, and it would go, he'd get it and it would pop up and go, kapow. Every time he got it up the fucking gicker. <laughs> I, I love the idea that the creators could retrospectively change children's TV shows like yeah, that. Yeah. I think mm. it's just really funny. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, imagine, imagine if the creator of Rainbow came out and was like, uh, "Zippy fuck kids," <laughs> just, 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 just left it like that. Yeah. And everyone went, "No, he didn't." He went, "Yeah, he did. Yeah. I wrote it." Yeah, Bungle's racist. No, yeah, Bungle, <laughs> massive racist. They should... Coming over here, taking our jobs. <laughs> They should have Scooby put down for attacking a girl on the street or something. They, <laughs> they, they shot him in a farm. One of the, <laughs> Scooby fucking bit a fucking one of the neighborhood girls. Scooby, don't. <laughs> yeah. She she blew a rate whistle. He started herding sheep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck it, Al. Uh, yeah, I just I don't get who it's for. I don't understand. It it, it seems to me. Like it is done deliberately so that they can get some column inches by winding up the thickest people in society. But again, why do they need the column inches if it's not even a thing anymore? Like it's not a show, is it? It's not a movie. Like why do they, they need must the have a, They must have a new thing coming out, right? Yeah, maybe. And were, were, were any of them even straight though? Were they, was like fucking was Shaggy cracking up in the blonde one? Was no, it? Fred, know. Fred and Daphne, they were banging definitely because oh, he was always like, the "Me and Daphne will go, and then you guys go over there." But also as well, Fred was the gay one. The fan, he had a fucking scarf on his neck. Remember? Which, yeah, maybe. Fred was. He, Fred he, had a fucking neck scarf. Yeah, yeah. but and yeah, he, but, he dressed like a sailor. Yeah, but Daphne. Yeah, actually. he was. He's why gay is he one? not the one that's yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna pick one and be like oh oh that one was although having said that I don't know Velma maybe I think it's believable Shaggy was definitely banging Scooby what right. Shaggy the dog yeah oh Shag- no no, no that Shaggy was Shaggy was Shaggy. Scooby's friend the stoner. Shaggy the, yeah the stoner guy he was always like come on Scoop and they were all going together he, they were banging them. I don't reckon he it put, was like a he, ru- he rubbed those Scooby snacks yeah on his, yeah, on his yeah, cock yeah, yeah. and got yeah. Scooby to lick yeah. it off. <laughs> I go, Shaggy, no. I don't want to do it. Would I reckon they both got they both got really high one time in like '69. I reckon that's yeah. as far that's as far that's as it's pretty went. far. Actually, to be fair, I've been high as fuck before, and never in my life have I wanted to '69 anyone, let alone a dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I've never. Maybe Scrappy do. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to do Scrappy. Do. Scooby's yeah, too big for me. I'm into bestiality, but only if they're chi- children. <laughs> <laughs> Is that worse? Is, is that yeah. worse? If you fuck a puppy, that carries along a sentence. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You said that for a minute like I do. I have no fucking idea. Yeah, it, you, does, it does seem like it'd be right, though. Got, oh, look at it. Yeah. Imagine here that Freddy was fucking a dog. <laughs> oh, yeah? Worse. Puppy. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. You, you know think the, you know a guy? <laughs> you know the. 12 weeks. <laughs> it's the oldest dog. <laughs> but, litter. In, but in dog, <laughs> in dog years, it's about four, so. <laughs> <laughs> he lit her up. <laughs> dog years can yeah. fuck off. The what? oldest dog in the world ever died this week. What? Yeah, it was 22 years old. Is this part of Tom's lovely question? No, but that's coming up later. Okay. So the oldest dog in the world died at uh, 22 years old, and in the thing it said, in, in dog years, that's 154. Yeah. No, it's not, because the oldest human is nowhere near 154. Right. They need to change dog years, or stop saying dog years and just start saying earth years. Okay. Earth Feel years. Really yeah, why, did, why are dog years a thing? Earth years. This sounds like you trying to be like really like, I I, I feel like you're gonna say the word it's speciesist in a minute or something like that. <laughs> no, no, just so what? So, so why are you upset? Like because dogs, what dog dogs, is a thing? But why? But what? Why, but dogs what age more quickly than humans. Yeah, right? but they still take the same amount of time. It's not like they go like Matrix, like go really slow all the time. Oh right, okay. So you don't like the idea that people that there's an equation. Yeah. yeah. That people use so they know how old their dog is if it was a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you like that idea? Because just use normal years. I get it. I do get it. Because why, why don't we say that with cats and yeah. shit? You don't say cat years. Or apples. Do you know what I found out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It. This apple's gone off, but it was 80 in yeah. apple years. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. <laughs> in apple years. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I found out recently? And I'm talking within the last couple of months. So I got a dog. Yeah. I found out recently that my dog has an Instagram. Oh, really? And I never knew... That my he, uh, he's doing it behind your back. Right? Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't got a girlfriend, this story is amazing. He goes, he yeah. goes, he doesn't follow me back. <laughs> 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 he 
He has me blocked. <laughs> yeah, so my other half had made a dog Instagram. Right. And just not just not mentioned it to me. All right, okay. And what she does, I'm not even fucking messing, is she interacts with other dogs and they oh, interact with her. No. And they're like, oh, that part looks fun. Yeah. Woof. I went for a good insane. walk today. Insane. Oh, Literal yeah. insanity. Yeah, that's weird. Mm. Yeah, I'd get a new dog if I was you. Really? <laughs> that's yeah. not the squeaky wheel that needs the grease, believe me. <laughs> No, he's talking about the missus he was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you've got to get a new dog because you're obviously going to leave your missus, right? <laughs> this is what happens when you don't have kids with them. <laughs> they just go yeah. insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Probably need to. Probably need to, you know, settle down now. See if, see if Connor Ben's got anything for me. <laughs> <laughs> Slip it into a morning coffee. There you go. You know, we'll, we'll start a family and you can stop the dog Instagrams. <laughs> Fucking weird, man. Do you want a lovely question? I want a lovely question. Let's do a lovely question. I also, Tom makes his own graphics for his lovely question. Right. Okay. Now, on the first one, we took the piss a little bit because Tom seemed to have made a uh, character that looked like it was from every race. And so now he makes a different race. It's not different race. Uh, it's a different country. Which Because if it was a different race, means... we'd run out. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. We'd run out after about six, wouldn't we? Yeah. So it's a different country every time. So, so what about certain places where... Wait, so you make a different country. Right. Then, then you still have to choose the race. So what? You'll find out when you see the, the lovely graphic, okay? So here's the lovely okay. question graphic. Tom's lovely question. Oh, isn't that lovely? It is lovely. Okay. So we've got some clues right. as to what country Tom is from today. Okay, so you've got that's, that's your Colin, character. Is that Colin Farrell? <laughs> it is Colin Farrell on his little jumper. Colin Farrell. He's and you work chips. Who's Irish? Chips and an afro. A big afro. Farrell chip fro. No. Fro chi. This country is associated with all of these things. I, uh, I uh, Belgium. It is Belgium. Thank you. Would you like to show your workings? Uh, yes, I would, uh, because. Uh, Colin Farrell was in the film In Bruges. Yes. Uh, with uh, uh, that uh, Brendan Fraser. Brendan Gleeson. Brendan Gleeson, not Brendan Fraser. That would have been a great film. Uh, with Brendan Gleeson, uh, great film. Uh, yeah. Also, French fries are apparently made in Belgium or some yeah, shit. Yeah, created in a, Belgium. They make a thing about that. I've been to a chips museum in them. And... Uh, everybody from Belgium has an afro. Mauro and Fellaini. That's, that's Mauro and Fellaini's Mauro hair. Mauro and Fellaini. I was struggling until I, uh, yeah, yeah, until I got there. Okay, so Very that was good. meant to be a Bel- a Belgian side. That's from Belgian from the France side or the Flemish side? That's, I don't know. So there's... You pretty much just made Fellaini <laughs> carry some <laughs> chips. Yeah, and Colin Farrell. <laughs> That's I don't know if that show was popular over there. Was that movie? Did they all watching it in Bruges? Uh, in yeah. Bruges. I went to Bruges and did a walking tour, and they would say, no, this is where In Bruges was filmed, and this oh. is where In Bruges was filmed, and this is where In Bruges was because it's a really small place, Bruges. Yeah, yeah, yeah I went to Bruges as well. Point of the bit movie. boring, isn't it? A bit dull. Although great That's... for fucking booze. That's the point of the movie. <laughs> Do you want to hear about my trip to Bruges? Yeah, it's literally, it's literally all they this say. This place is shy for an hour and a half, and there's a tour. That's where he said our city was shit. That's where he said the city was shit, and that's the tower. Yeah, um, I'm going to tell you about my trip to Bruges. Tell me about I... your trip to Bruges. So this was a few years ago, and uh, we went to Bruges for my birthday, me and my girlfriend. Okay. And the, we were going on the Monday, but the weekend before I had really bad food poisoning, like really bad. So I was really ill. And on the Monday, we're going, I was like, oh, I feel too, super ill. We get to the airport, and my girlfriend had surprised me by getting the, uh, you know, the lounge in the airport. So it's like all free food and free beers and stuff. I had none of it, because I was just throwing up, throwing up, throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. Finally got on the plane, ill, 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 throwing up all the way. Get to Bruges, I'm like, the day was a write off. I was fucked. All right. How long, how long are you there for? Because Bruges three days. Is, uh, yeah. Importantly, three days. Yeah. So the first day, complete write off, really ill. You're ill. You're throwing up. Second night, woke up. I felt a lot better, but I was completely covered in bed bug bites. Right. Like, uh, covered. I'm gonna get. Oh I'm gonna no. get a picture up. No, it's alright. I believe you. No. I mate, believe you. Guys, this is this podcast. Why right? is there? Why are you just searching for the term bed bugs and then that's gonna bring it's up not... a? Oh shit. Oh, uh, damn, that's yeah. fucking gross. So yeah, yeah, you're gone. So I was fucked. They had them on my eye. It was on my hands. I couldn't get my hands in my pockets. Yeah, fucked. I'm I'm fucking gone at this point. I'm yeah. done. So, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to power through. I'm on holiday. I'm going to enjoy myself. Got pissed. 
Look, it, was a, it was a terrible start today. You went around looking like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was fucked, right? You look a fucking leper. I've mm. told you before, I'm solid. It's fine. So, got really pissed. Day was all right. Got on the next morning, and it was my birthday. I was like, oh, happy birthday. No more bed bug bites as well, because I'm in a different hotel room. This is great. Happy birthday. My girlfriend's still asleep. Looked at my phone. I've been made redundant. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. And then we went home. Really? Yeah, don't go to Bruges. Well, I mean, I don't think the city's got anything to do with it. I think it's just a sad life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my sad, <laughs> that was my, that was my sad trip to Bruges. Fucking hell, mate. Yeah. Did, I mean, aside from being sick, being bitten and being laid off, did you enjoy it? Uh, the walking tour was pretty good. I thought the walking tour was shite myself. It was yeah, too much walking. In <laughs> not enough yeah. tour. <laughs> the tour to walking ratio was well off. <laughs> In the context of the rest of the trip, though, it was the highlight. Certainly. You know what they need? Segways. Fucking <laughs> a little segway tour. I did. Yeah. Uh, this is literally just reminding me when I. So I've been to Bridge a couple of times. I've been like oh. with you know like girlfriends and shit, and then I went as well when I was uh, interrailing across Europe like a little wanker. I did interrailing as well. Yeah. There you go, wanker. Exactly. So I went there, right? And I'm getting a tour, but it's the it's the boat tour. You know, oh, they, yeah. they have like little speed boats, sort of basically, right? And I'm on this tour and I'm looking around or whatever, and uh I'm on a boat surrounded by I want to say Japanese. Japanese tourists, right? right? And they are doing the stereotypical thing that tourists do from, you know. Get bitten by bed bugs. They're, <laughs> they're taking pictures of fucking everything. Like, the, like literally everything, right? And there's not much that's interesting in Bruges. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, and at one point, the guide goes, uh, and over there to the left is the first uh, stained glass window in Europe, uh, we think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, and I think I you reckon. Put, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we think is one away from I reckon. That's the tallest building I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, as well, when they say we think, it's like, who's we? <laughs> Do you mean like the country of Belgium? Do you mean like <laughs> all historians, or do you mean you and your friends? <laughs> anyway, right. This woman, this Japanese probably woman, because uh, I didn't ask where she was from, so I didn't care. Um, she jumped across the boat. Like, honestly, it was like she'd just seen the most interesting thing she'd ever jumped across and then took a picture of it. Like, it was on. It, it was like paparazzi. You know, when someone's <laughs> coming out, takes loads of pictures of it, and then she looks dead happy for half a second, and then she's back to taking pictures of other things. Mm. And I remember thinking... Who's going to be impressed with that back home? Yeah. Like, yeah, who are you going to show yeah. and you're going to go, oh, how was your trip to Belgium? Whatever your name is. Uh, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to begin. Um, so how was your trip to Belgium? Um, Yoko. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's a Japanese woman's name. Yeah. yeah. Was she? What? Was she Japanese? Is she? No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Yes. So. Um, I think she was Japanese. Yeah. Oh, Yoko Ono. Yeah. 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 She was. Oh, I was thinking of a different Yoko. What Funny. were you thinking of? <laughs> Pokemon. What were, what were you, oh, right. Okay, what were you thinking no, of? No, I was obviously thinking of Yoko Ono. Oh, right. <laughs> that other famous Japanese Yoko. So, I was thinking, who, who are you going to show that to? Like, ah, like, oh, this is a picture of a window that might be one of the first windows. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, had a good trip. Um, yeah. yeah, just fucking nuts. It is weird, isn't it? Anyway, back to the lovely question. Oh, yeah. What actually is the lovely question? Well, Sorry, we are fucking going around the houses with well, this. Well, we've got a new system for lovely questions. You've got a new system of lovely questions? Oh, hang on. No, don't read that. So, Colin, yes. as you're our guest, oh. you get to pick a number between one and... Edit this out while my computer fixes. this. Did you just turn off your computer? No, I, I took it off the screen. Okay. Uh, pick a number between Suspense. one and nine... Six. Some of our... No, wait. <laughs> I wasn't no. fucking about at all. Some no. of these are from Discord users. I'm number six is I'm not playing this game. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Just read the question, man. Right. <laughs> if you had a button that gave you 10 grand, but every time you pressed it, 10,000 random people died, nobody knew it was you, how many times would you press it? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, it's either... Well, it's either none or a thousand. 
You know, so I don't. I, yeah, yeah, you yeah. You don't do it once. You never do like Pringles <laughs> when she press it once. Incest porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the slogan for incest porn. Once you pop. I'm not happy. Once you, once you pop, pop. I'm not happy with the <laughs> race. a dad porn. <laughs> I'm not happy. <laughs> once you pop. So, yeah. so I'm going to say that I wouldn't press it. Because I'm not happy with the ratio of one pound per life. Right, okay. I think that that's, that's ridiculous. Now, yeah. if it was, uh, you get 100 grand, but 10 people die, that's I'd be a, a multi-millionaire. It's not a question, I'm afraid, Freddie. Yeah, so, so look, what, what I want to say is I'm not... I'd say no, but it's not because I value human life. You just it's, value it more I than one pound. I just value it at more than a pound. <laughs> Yeah, here, look, once you do it once, you're just on to keep going, right? Yeah. <laughs> just don't think. Just, ah! Don't even know if the money got into your account. <laughs> <laughs> Never even checked. He goes, yo, your bank details. I see. Ah, forget about it. I, I'll yeah. hit you up when I need it. Yeah. yeah. This button kills 10,000 people. Done. Yeah. <laughs> don't even yeah, tell yeah, me yeah. about it. Just, I don't care about the money. Just show me the suffering. Oh, why don't I get 10 grand? Great. Yeah. Or we'll wire up a video link so you can watch the families as they find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. That sounds pretty good. How did they, die? How did they die? Did they say how they die? Uh, they just dropped it. Like No, no, no. They, head. Uh, they explode. Heads explode. Heads explode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone knows something's going on and someone's pressing the button, but they don't know it's you. So if you do too much, then and like, I'm just walking. Oh wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. So everyone in the world knows there's a button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so everyone's like, whoever's pressing the button, you're yeah. a dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm there with my Rolex going. <laughs> 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 well, that'd be really funny uh, <laughs> because I've got then, so much bad friction burns on my fingers. <laughs> everyone would suspect somebody of pressing the button. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so you'd have to be like, it'd have to be like Goodfellas when they rob the airport. Yeah. When, <laughs> When Jimmy the Gent's like, what I tell you about not spending your money again? Yeah. And I, I show Take up, the coat back! I show up at a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> not even buying good stuff. <laughs> Just buying shit. End up dead in your new pink car. PlayStation, yeah, fucking. Oh my god. I like the idea of everyone knowing that there's a button. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you have to be like, yeah, whoever's pressing it is a dick. Yeah, yeah. I'd whoever's like... pressing it is just taking the piss now. <laughs> <laughs> Dad! Yeah. Ah! Buzz, 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 buzz. It's you're... really ruining New House Day. <laughs> or, you, or yeah, every time you get in a fight with someone, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be one of you. But it could, event, but eventually, it could, but it could be you. <sighs> That's no, that wasn't part of the question. Of course, it is. No, a it's thousand not. people die at random. No. Yeah, not well. No, no. I made that's... the question, mate, so. Did you? No, you can't put yourself in jeopardy because if you put yourself in jeopardy, you have to put it, the question has to be where you own no, the benefit. No, 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 no. I would feel, it, I, I, it's no. random. It, if it is random, I would feel less guilt because then I go, well, um, look, this is for the good of all, like. Good of the planet. Good, one, for, good for the environment. I could die. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. But then where does the money go? I, ne- so, next of kin. No. No one gets the money if I die. It goes to your bank, but you've not got a will, so... Okay, so... <laughs> so Very... Here's, <laughs> so here's a question. Here's a question. We'll do a little modification, but this is designed to really uncover some internalised racism, right? So you... It's 10,000 random people, yeah, yeah. but you get to choose from which country. Oh, no. I'm, d- I'm pressing <laughs> it. No. I'm, that's... <laughs> If you're enjoying the show, get on Patreon and give us some money. We 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 deserve it. You've liked it, so we deserve money. That's how that works. Uh, welcome to capitalism. Go to patreon.com forward slash deadmentalkpod. It's £3 a month and you get loads of extra stuff. We put out an extra episode every week, which is often even worse than the main episode. If you want to watch all the videos that we get sent in, the only way to do that is to be a Patreon and go on our Discord and enter the dark room that is members only, because if not, we'll get in loads of trouble. So uh, if you want to support the podcast, keep us going and... And uh, lose three pounds a month and get on Patreon. Cheers. Guess who's here? Hello. It's Rob Mulholland. <laughs> Bang on time. Who actually came in and trampled the funniest bit of the episode. <laughs> came straight in, well, walked I'm, all over it. And made his own move. Hello. I'm then, sorry, I, I, I didn't realise, you know, I assumed it would be shit. So I didn't it was, realize it was. It was a really good bit. Someone's, I'm sorry. Someone put in a question on the Discord yeah. about um, if you could press a button and yeah. you get £10,000 but 10,000 people die, yeah. would you press the button? 
Well, and no, obviously times? that's psychopathic, isn't it? Well, well, my problem was that. So I assume he said yes. So, no, no, he, my problem he, was that the he said the, yes, but only if he could choose the race. <laughs> that's what he said. Well, no, no, Actually, no, no. I've, I believe you. No, that sounds. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so my initial problem. And he said five grand. My, <laughs> I did for free. Twenty thousand dead. <laughs> yeah. So my initial problem was the ratio of one pounds to one pounds. I don't think it, a life to a pound is not fair. Yeah, no, I think if that's bad. Yeah. If it was a hundred thousand yeah. ten people, fine. I'm like, literally not asked at all. Yeah. But then we started talking about how, uh, what about if it was 10,000 people random, but you got to choose which country? Yeah. Yeah. And I was just saying, I'd, I'd, I just solve, think... I'd be solving world hunger pretty yeah. fucking quickly. <laughs> and I... then you walked straight in and went, Bello! and then yeah. ruined my incredibly funny joke. They're on the... That joke. It, it, it is it, incredible lot, that you did a funny in, joke. In some of these countries, they're they're practically one foot in the grave anyway. So it's like yeah. you're just you're just getting them there fast. Yeah. Get Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine that's where I'm going. Yeah. Also, also, Russia, also there you go. Well, do it in Russia. That take longer. You're solving. Uh, you're helping Ukraine. The amount of times, the amount of times I've donated for the for just a few pounds a month, like. I feel like it's time that they return the favor a little bit. Or you could tell mm. everyone and go, "Look, I'm not gonna press the button, yeah. but I want." Fucking a hundred thousand a year. Oh, that's good. And everyone yeah. gets that's, a, together. that's a low ball offer. That to be fair, I think that's pretty good. Well, the Doctor fair, Evil I approach. I don't want to be a prick. In some, <laughs> in some countries, in some countries where poverty and you know starvation is rife, ten thousand people dying is that's a good day. Yeah, in China, that's like a bus crash. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you should see the size of Chinese buses. You can see them from space. No, they're the same size. Chinese people are tiny. <laughs> we got those guys on the platform yeah, pushing them in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shove them in the exhaust. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> up. Suck all the air out like the vacuum bags. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're just at the point now where we're going to do and some videos. Unfortunately for you, when you did show up, you, you walked in this big like, hey! And we were like, <laughs> I know. Depression. Yeah, yeah, just got completely <laughs> mugged off. Yeah. Anti climatic. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, you're over here uh, just for the weekend, but you're over here again soon, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm coming back. Shows. I'm coming back in December. I've got dates in Glasgow, Liverpool. I'm doing phase one, then London, and I'm doing Dublin. And they're all small rooms. So if you want to come see me do an hour of stand up comedy, please come out. They, they, they will sell out. How nice. would you go about getting tickets for those things? Columtyrell.com. Nice. Yes. And that's uh, C U. Uh, well, it's your name in it. It's C- on the fucking. Yeah, yeah. Like if you, if you're watching or listening to this, look at the just like the title. Yeah. Like, like it'll say it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> in my head, I was like, but how would they know? Like, eh, yeah, it's going to be written down wherever this is happening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Although I've I've spelt your name wrong in my phone. Yeah. I've kept it. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I was like, oh, it's not a problem for me, is I'll it? I've just put a little potato emoji. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Yeah, but you're gonna get us confused all the time. That is true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like three or four potatoes, right? <laughs> all right, Chip. I'm getting hungry now. Uh, let's watch some. Is there right. anything? Uh, and if you want to send us a video, by the way, you can buy a WhatsApp to oh seven five two oh six double four nine three one. As always, the rules are no animals, no death, no racism, and no kids. Although we've kind of relaxed them. We've relaxed you... death. It's like if if it's a fifty fifty chance. Yeah, then, you know. We'll and also, right. you don't know for sure that if they you know. can, exactly. If you can get all four, then I'm fine. Do you know what I mean? Like if you can okay. get all four together. Yeah. Also, like uh, there's a there's a distinction I realised that we've not told anyone. I th- I think the distinction is right. If someone has a really really bad accident, hilarious. If yeah. someone is attacked. No. Bad. Yes. Again, same That's with racism. Different. If someone's yeah. really, 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 really racist, very funny. Yeah. But if there's just a, a twinge, yeah. a, a little smidge of racism, mm-hmm. yeah. that's, if that's wrong. If they're so that's racist, wrong. you're like, that's like a mental illness. Yeah. Like, you know, like the guy in the Burger King hat screaming the N-word on the plane. What? I don't know if we've seen that, but we well, need to. <laughs> no, I just, I just meant that as a... Yeah. It's an expression. expression. Right. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry, is that an Irish saying? Yeah, it's it? one yeah, of yeah, our old... Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have a way with words. Goes back centuries. Yeah. <laughs> Such a folksy piece. Someone's kissed the Blarney Stone, haven't they? <laughs> Um, uh, right. Also, so, we want more shit dicks as well. Oh yeah! If you've got a terrible penis or vagina, we're not discriminating. <laughs> uh, send it into the WhatsApp on oh seven five two oh six four four nine three one, or you can email us. It's deadmentalpod at gmail dot Yeah, we're running a shit dick competition. Yeah, um, um, <laughs> we've we've had three entries so far of people sending in their penis, saying it's the worst one. And uh, yeah, like like just small and small and shit. Yeah, uh, where on the drive are the shit dicks? I could find them. They're on. You sent one to my email and all yeah. that. I think well, well, let's crack on. Anyway, we'll, we'll watch some videos. Is there anything, Colin, that just sort of turns your stomach a little bit? Uh, I know that we watch naked... couples. 
<laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Now, now we're getting, now we're finally getting off. We're getting off to a bang now. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it before, Rob. What he said: "There's a way of hitting a woman honourably." <laughs> I'm so gutted I missed this. Yeah. Oh, you bad person. No, not that. Like I, I meant like I've got like a weird thing about needles. Like I can't oh. watch injections. No, I, I honestly think it's just shit. Right. Like, I, I can watch. Okay. Violence. Well, get ready well, to learn have, some things we about We have yourself. got so much shit, and, like cuts and stuff. But right. Well, a sick the good news for you, is for you I can't remember what's in these. Great. Right. Like this is a mystery You're selection. A lucky dip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like. I chose these the other day, so I've looked at them at some point and gone, "That's good for the show." Yeah, yeah. it's a mystery. Apart from that, let's have a look. See what right. We got. Let's have a look at the first one. Uh, here we go. Uh, I think this is just someone doing some excellent dentistry, which is always fun. Well. Um, so this this person had war, uh, some sort of. Sh- I don't know. Unfortunately, the internet is being slow as oh, shit. Oh, who shit use a computer now, Rob? Oh. How, in what way is this? Oh, he fucking, uh, what he way fucking is this did you, user, Rob? He did you. In what way is this a user <laughs> error that it's loading? Like I don't. In what way is that my all fault? I'm, all I'm saying hey, is, take it with plus net, dickhead. Oh my god. Maybe worked. maybe the internet will, uh, will will be like you, and it'll come in about forty five minutes time. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> you fucking twice. Maybe it'll be like you and come immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. If it is, we better warn your mum's face. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even know what that means. Warn your mum's face. (laughs) Just my mum. She'll tell the face. Just the face. (laughs) Just the face. Don't don't listen, legs. (laughs) (laughs) It's nothing to do with you, limbs. (laughs) Better warn your mum's face. (laughs) Fucking child. Hey, Rob's mum's face. (laughs) It's going to be come on you immediately. Uh, this just isn't working. No. It's just not working, mate. Do you uh, know what would have been really funny? Yeah. I mean, we've missed the chance to do it now. But what would have been really funny is if we'd have waited till Rob got here and wrapped up the show yeah. immediately. I know. I was yeah. thinking you were going to do that. I, one, mean, I mean, it looks like we one. might do. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Fuck me. Eight, here seven. we go. Right. Let's go. Oh, what the fuck is that? It's um, it's a big fucking oh. shark lady. Oh, oh they make it. Yeah. Oh, no, not my... Oh, maggots is my thing. She's got maggots in her mouth. In yeah. her mouth, yeah. I mean, it's not the worst place we've seen maggots on this, to be honest, but um, it's pretty bad. Oh, 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 oh my oh. God. Her whole head is rotting while she is alive. Uh, is this what Americans think British teeth look like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... It's wow. fish and chips. Oh, oh I'd, just, I'd just rather be dead. I'd, de- I'd just rather be dead. Oh, How wow, do you let it, it get this bad? I know dentists are expensive. Well, but that's... like... How are you to be, eating? To be fair, I, wow, oh. wait. There's a oh. whole colony in there. I think, I think credit goes to the dentist. Mm. Because if that was me, I'd be like, nah. I think you need to go to a vet, not a yeah. dentist. It's... Yeah. Like, they get get a pest exterminator. I think they're going to have to put one of those tents on it like they do with American houses. I, I think that they went to a vet first and the vet went, we're just going to have it put down. Yeah. Like, like it's kinder. That's it's a kinder thing to do. Just, just rinse your mouth with water or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, water's a start. Oh, yeah. Surely, surely a swill will <laughs> yes. like, at least help. Listerine. Yeah. But their teeth are so bad that they've probably just ignored their mouth. Yeah, definitely. Like. <laughs> How much to put your knob in it? What? As in to get a blowjob from that. I would be quite I nice, all the wriggling. I wouldn't pay him more than 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Do you know what is mad is that it would be more than however much the button was. <laughs> so the button of killing 10,000 people, genuinely, yeah. rather yeah. than have a five-second blowjob off fucking Maggot whatever face. that maggot yeah. face. I think the thing that put me off the blowjob is the size of the teeth more than anything. No, I think the maggots. Nah, the maggots, the maggots are are, not, are, are off putting, but the, they are big old teeth. For the, the, well, I don't think they're big teeth. I think the gums are just gone. So I right. think that's just the root of the teeth. Yeah. Like you just see, yeah, like the yeah. gums have the gums have been eaten by oh. maggots. Is the problem? I think that's one of the problems with this mouth. This is not. How many ever... people would have to die for you to take that? Like, uh, honestly, like if if a billion people were going to die. Okay, so here's the thing, right? If yeah. someone said uh, you can kiss her on the lips, <laughs> yeah. Or Rob dies. Well, that's an unfair the, the worst, example. The worst mm. death ever. 
and his mum dies, yeah. and he, his dad's fine because he doesn't see him. Um, <laughs> How would we know? But, yeah, no, yeah, no can't way, find him to kill no him. Good luck. Him. <laughs> Everyone who Rob loves dies a horrific, like like chemo, like death. <laughs> A but chemo death. Chemo that's, death. Th- that's the worst death I can think of. Right. So a really bad, like... like... I think being trapped on a submarine as it gradually fills with water. Right, that's, that's what happens. <laughs> okay. That's what happens. You and all your family and loved ones yeah. are on a submarine. Really yeah. slow. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the water's coming in like yeah. this. But I, immediately, you'd be saved if I just go like yeah. that. <laughs> You're dead. What if I buttered <laughs> her lips? What? What if I buttered her lips? <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she uses Lurpak for lipstick. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm, ba- I'm back in. Would you eat an, in- an Easter egg if it was covered in those maggots? I'm not a what, fan is of it, chocolate. It's what? No, I'm not. How did chocolate. you get like this? I'm a if you're not a fan of chocolate, what have you been doing? I, it's ex- just pasta, isn't I'm it? I'm an extremely fussy eater. I do love pasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm big yeah. in the same way that James Gandolfini was big. No. No. And I mean, what happened no. to him? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that paragon of health, James Gandolfini. <laughs> and like, you're worse than him. Like, you're definitely more fucked than him. Uh, yeah. Maybe you're like early Tony Soprano, but late Tony mm. Soprano's better. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Mm. I'll take that. Don't give him that. But look what happened to Tony Soprano. Mm. Shot in the head, yeah. famously. Or was he? Yes, he, he was. was. Yeah, he, he, was. he, he definitely was, was if he you're was, not yeah. thick. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They, just, they just run out of film. <laughs> 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 they just run out of film. Like, oh, fuck yeah. it. Right, right let's, let's open up another one. I'm trying to. Oh, what you do is you click on it, you see. Yeah, I know. I've never yeah. used a Mac because I think the computer's for children. Oh, how the tables oh, have turned. No. Here we go. Oh. Okay, is this another one? Oh, this is uh, some security footage from a uh, restaurant. Okay. What's this that? is a woman waitress, and she is... She's not going to stick it up herself, is she? Is that a hot dog? The, the, she's picking up a hot dog. Is yeah. she going to stick it up her pussy? She's, hey. She's got it. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. That's she exactly, what's, happen- that's exactly she's, oh, what's happening. That's exactly what's happening She's waiting. Like, as soon as you see her pick up that hot dog, you're like, oh, where's wait, that what? going? What? Le- leg up. Leg up on the stool as well. Such a power move. Knickers to the side. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Mustard. <laughs> I mean, do it in the toilet. Don't do it in the kitchen. Well, you can, it, it's more... You if can't... you're working in a kitchen, if you take a customer's food to the toilet, that is Oh, well, she's weird. really going Well, that looks it. a bit weird. Yeah, yeah but sure. Look, but is... she's alone in the kitchen. She doesn't... She'll have no, forgotten no, no, the no, cameras no. there. But the thing it? is, mate, the thing is, is if someone sees you taking a hot dog to the kitchen, then what you can do... Oh, sorry, taking a hot dog to the toilets is someone goes, what are you doing with that? You go, oh, I was going to eat it. I was really hungry. It's embarrassing. Sorry. And no one thinks I was trying to stick it up my puss puss. Yeah, you're still uh, going to get fired for that, though. Bit of ketchup. Yeah. I think I'd rather be fired from s- for steaving, wait, stealing wait, food because I'm hungry. Has she kept that. it in or has she stuck it no. in? The no, she's put it, she's put it in the bun, put ketchup on it, and she's taken it out to someone. So she's stuck it up her... Uh... Yeah. So what I want to know is, is this someone she hates or really likes? Yeah. <laughs> How <laughs> much she's serving this yeah. to? Someone's How eating much... it going, oh, ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Yeah. How much extra was that? <laughs> <laughs> Wild, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I'll have a hot dog with everything on it. Like, Are you I did, sure? <laughs> I did like I used to like I used to work in like pubs and that, and like in the kitchen once, like the the um the, like I used to work with my mate. I shouldn't say his name, please bleep that idea. Uh, but yeah, like used to work with uh, a bunch of people in the kitchen. One day the EDL were in town uh, doing a little rally, and they all came into my pub for a big lunch. So there's all like the EDL around. What? That's like a right. We... Yeah, the English Defence League. Okay, right. Yeah. Great bunch of lads. Um, right. Like they, they, uh, they're all, they're all in, and uh, my mate is Asian, and uh, they're not fan, you know, not fans of each other. But okay. the ADL started it, uh, <laughs> so like I'm like, I don't think we should have them in here. It's not great to have a big pub full of racists. My boss was like, we got to serve them. Pounds a pound. Pounds a pound. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my Asian chef friend went, serve them. Oh. I was like, okay. And yeah, they all just got puby beans and sausages uh, had been in places and stuff. It was just like we were just like kicking oh, stuff around the kitchen. Puby beans working as well. Puby beans. Oh, puby beans. <laughs> <laughs> is he still going? Is he? He is. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. working. Good lad, yeah. is puby. Still doing the same material. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> puby beans. <laughs> but hi, you can't follow him. No, that's you it. It fucking uh, smashes. Uh, it does smash. Puby beans. Yeah, he's still wearing the flame shirts. <laughs> Uh, so there you go. There's a bit of a fanny sausage. That one's a bit of a light, uh, light relief for us, really, isn't what it? That one. What was she suspended? Was she? 
I don't know what happened. We didn't get a follow up with the uh, WhatsApp message with that video. This, uh, this hot dog uh, tastes like uh, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. This, have a bite of that. Does this <laughs> does this taste like waitresses cunt? Yeah. Check the menu. Is it supposed to? <laughs> That's the... <laughs> You know, what? you know that he's gone, I think you're giving me a veggie hot dog here. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> that is no, kind of what they taste like. No, it's a, a it's a veggie hot dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, that is kind of what uh, fake meats taste like. It yeah, does taste yeah. like a normal sausage that's been up a cunt. So maybe yeah. that's what's yeah, going yeah. on. Maybe that's what's happening no, at yeah, Richmond Yeah, factory. they've ordered a veggie hot dog. They yeah. haven't had any. Yeah, and they've gone, gone shit. We make, let's take, make it taste worse. Sandra, stick it up your minge. <laughs> They'll never know. But she was smart to put the ketchup on after. Just yeah, double, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> double tap. Double Are we tap. totally you know sure what? that was ketchup? But you know, someone could have sent that back instead of what literally. This is making me insane. I know. Just you do it then. I, like, I literally like. I'm I'm pressing it in every way I can think of. I bet you. Yeah, that's wrong. Oh, 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 oh! Not easier, is it? Not better. Oh, oh, oh! oh look, you can't do it now. There I tell you, you, I tell you who could do it. Oh, this is a uh, collection of footage from Oktoberfest. This one's a bit shit, actually. Fuck that off. Uh, let's get this one. Okay. What happened in that one? I've interest. Just like people fucking getting pissed in that. Here oh, we okay. go. Right. That was it. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> okay, I think that's the sexiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> is this what you're into? I'm into that. Do big... you want to be the farter or the guy no, lying I'm on the in, floor? I'm into that big ass. Right. So we, so we describe it for the audio listeners. What happened there? It's yeah. a it's a cute girl with a big bum. Brazilian. Uh, been, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, it's why is there a ladder in the back? Two ladders in the background. Yeah, the set dressing isn't up to scratch. They're like next to like a shipping container. Yeah. Exactly. Say what you want about Naked Martin. That gold. Uh... Yeah, exactly. He puts a bit of lame into it. <laughs> a bit of razzle dazzle. Mm. But uh, and yeah, and he has a. So he has a little gimp mask on, and he's lying on the floor in his little leather pants, and he holds up like a I think she, I don't know where the explosives are. That's it's a, it's what confuses a, me. Is he because he's just got a mask? I think he's holding it in his other hand, There's so something... that when she farts, it ignites the yeah. explosives in his other hand. Yeah, I, yeah. Because I thought she had like dynamite up her ass. No, this is how um, uh, <laughs> maybe like the, this she's is how, like the cheating chess guy. I, I think what's happened. He's Just got came a to a random conclusion. He's got. Yeah, a I don't think he was. I don't think it was dynamite up his ass. TNT <laughs> it has to be. <laughs> he's got a box of matches and he's lit a match. Yeah. And his other hand, it's lit the box of matches. That's why it's got. got nah, everywhere. a box of matches doesn't do that. No. Mate. It goes like. Pfft, pfft, pfft. It's not exploding like that. It's not going pop 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 pop. There's no pop pop pop. In his left hand is some there's sort something. of gas thing. Yeah, there's got to be. And like, I think it's like I reckon it'll be like uh, like a bunch of like firecrackers covered in a fuel of some kind. Roaming, maybe because <laughs> like it fucking goes up. Like, she's got something coming up her ass there. Look, exactly. so it looks like something has either hit her or is coming out of her ass. There's a huge explosion. Maybe they... this is the Russian military testing the chemical weapons. <laughs> <laughs> he knew that was going to happen, though, because that's why he's got that mask on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He knows what's coming. I don't know if she is quite like ass. What if they put? Yeah. What if they put gas in her ass? Right. Like pumped it in. Pumped in some sort of. That's why it's so inflated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She punctured a buttock. <laughs> Maybe that's it, yeah. An arse cheek exploded. Yeah, it's a popped arse cheek. That's what's going on there. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Shall we look at the last one? Yeah, let's go for it. If uh, Well, let's see if the button works. <laughs> yeah, it's the button that's the problem, Rob. <laughs> there we go. Right. He's getting the hang of oh, it. Oh, this is, uh, yeah. Wild life. Oh, I like this. You got a chubby so this is, so this is a, a This is a Freddy's large mom. woman uh -oh. and a oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Run. Run. Oh, she's going to fall. She's oh! <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to, he was trying to stop. Oh, he just kicked him. Oh. Uh, uh, no. you know, we again. It's a lot more wholesome than what we normally oh, do, but it's a, fucking great, isn't it? A large woman squaring up to a raccoon, and the raccoon chases after her, and she falls wow, on her big fat wow. ass. I feel she sorry for her. You feel sorry for her. Yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. hilarious. And she's wearing like a belly top. I know. She's got a little oh, crop top run. on, which is ill advised. Like <laughs> her ankle just goes cluck. She's just like oh, Winnie the Pooh. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is Winnie the Pooh and Tigger playing. That's yeah. what this is. Unfortunately, that wasn't narrated by the black guy from earlier. <laughs> the doo doo. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
That would have been funny. Oh, no! You missed that, Rob, because you yeah, were really, yeah, you, really you don't get the I just back, infer Rob. it. It's fine. You I worked out, there, from, I out from the context. It's fine. Don't the need callback, to, the callback was excellent. That was so it, funny, Colm, and it, it, yeah. it didn't get enough because mm-hmm. Rob doesn't respect the podcast. No, I don't, know. So what punishment are we lo- doing for you this did. time, Rob? Yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see no, what... I think we should talk about it now. What? No, we'll see what... Right, we'll do... Uh, what what are you of... doing at the Sex Dungeon, then? Uh, so I think that you should... So what are you going to do at the Sex Dungeon if I'm going to do a punishment again? Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, what are you going to do? Well, we'll talk about if that. If you pussy oh. out of the Sex Dungeon, I think that's a much bigger, much bigger punishment than anything I think I punishments for everyone. Yeah, Except punishments for everyone. Yeah. Mm. Put, 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 wait, why am I getting punished? Just for, just for being Don't gay. Know. Yes. <laughs> just for being gay. Just for being gay, yeah. Because you're yeah. big and gay. You're a big gay man. Big I feel man. oppressed. <laughs> <laughs> feel the press. Right, well, that's yeah. the end of... What a great podcast. podcast. I've had a great time. Yeah. Honestly, all killer, no filler. Yeah. <laughs> it's It's... Quality, not quantity. Exactly. That's it. Like, it? you know, look. I, I, I'm like, I come one in like, day we ought to have one of those things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the super sub, you know. Come out the end, bang in the winner. Uh, Jobs are good. And- I mean, Bannon. the game was won, to be fair. Hey, look, I wrapped it up <laughs> in style. It goes a goal. Hey, we, it might have already been 4 0, but I did just score a, just score a cool bicycle kick. It's oh, really? Yeah. Which, which bit of your contribution was the cool bicycle kick? The bit where I come press the button, that was funny. Yeah, that was the cool bicycle kick. That was the cool bicycle kick, yeah. Fat chick that fell over. Yeah, <laughs> the fat chick that fell over. That's yeah. classic. That was Wayne Rooney's one against City. <laughs> <laughs> if you see the raccoon, just hits a shin. Uh, <laughs> if people uh, have enjoyed you, Colin, where can they find you on social media? Uh, just at Colin Turrell across every platform. And okay. I have a podcast called the Colin Turrell Podcast. And uh, yeah, again, if you're in the UK and you can get to any of those shows. What cities are they in again? Tell them again. Glasgow, they're fucking thick. Glasgow, <laughs> Liverpool, London, and Dublin. Nice. Yeah. Get on them. Get to those tickets. And if you get enjoyed them us fucking bought. And you want to become a patron, check out uh, www.patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. And uh, give us three fucking quid. For three quid, you get access to an extra episode every single week. You get access to all the videos that we watch. You get access to all the extra content that we film, uh, the live roast shows, Rob's punishment set, whatever Rob does for the second time for the punishment of this shit show. Uh, also, we're filming extra content like we're filming in a sex dungeon soon. So you get to see whatever the fuck that is. Uh, so there's loads of extra stuff. It's only three quid there's no tears for three pound you get absolutely everything and you get to support the podcast please also as well check out our sponsors and the people that are nice enough to sponsor this uh and yeah we'll see you next week fuck off fuck off tim Tim, 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 Tim,